Conventions like these could not be possible without the support of great corporate partners. At this time, I'd like to formally recognize this afternoon's luncheon sponsors. Cox Enterprise has worked closely with LULAC for nearly five years, helping promote and raise awareness of LULAC's work in the community. Here today is the Senior Vice President of Corporate Communications and Public Affairs for Cox Enterprises, Mr. Bob Jimenez. Muchas gracias, Teresa. Good afternoon, everyone. My fellow Lulaqueros, how are you guys doing today? Excellent, excellent. On behalf of Cox and our 50,000 employees across the country, I'm delighted to be with you all today. For more than 100 years, Cox Enterprises has been guided by a simple belief. Do the right thing for your employees, customers, and your community. Our corporate giving platform focuses the company's giving in three critical areas, empowering communities and individuals, promoting diversity, and preserving the environment. Governor James Cox started our company in 1898 with one newspaper, the Dayton Daily News. Today, our company includes Cox Communications, Autotrader.com and Kelly Blue Book, television and radio stations, newspapers, and Mannheim Auto Auctions. And when Brent and the LULAC team came to us with the opportunity of being a sponsor of a Unity Luncheon, we just jumped at the opportunity. Because like LULAC, we believe everyone should have the opportunity and support to reach their absolute highest potential. And we're equally as excited that we are partnering with LULAC in making education easier for thousands of youth across the country with Cox Communications Connect to Compete program. With partners like LULAC, we're spreading the word about Connect to Compete that brings affordable internet to households who might not otherwise have that opportunity. And this is helping our children and their families in so many ways. When Connect to Compete got its start as a pilot program with Cox Communications in San Diego back in 2012, Brent Wilkes was there sharing the stage with C2C advocates from across the US. Brent, you have been an advocate for bridging the digital divide for so many years, and having your support has been critical to the program's success, and so very important to bringing households, uh, affordable internet to uh, Latino households from coast to coast. So thank you, Brent, so much for your foresight and leadership. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize President Moran. We all love her, don't we? <laughs> for her dedication and service to LULAC, not only as president for the last four years, but as an advocate and a member of the organization for more than three decades. As we celebrate 85 tremendous years of work by LULAC, know that Cox, is proud to call you both a partner and a friend. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. As you can see, I need the riser, he doesn't. So, and I'm wearing really high heels too. Anyway, another great ally of LULAX is Walgreens. Most recently, Walgreens has partnered with LULAC to advance their Latinos Living Healthy Initiative, which seeks to address the several health disparities the Hispanic community faces. So please help me welcome National Manager for Corporate Affairs, Rafael Malpica. Buenas tardes, LULAC. How are we feeling? So I was in the back and they told me that you guys are really excited to hear a native Chicagoan speak to you when you waited in line for a long time. So I'm here to tell you, I've lived in Chicago for 20 years. <laughs> so while I'm sure I'm not the native Chicagoan you came to hear, uh, the First Lady Walgreens and I have more than the Windy City in, co in common. You see, four years ago, Michelle Obama came into one of our stores in 75th and State. 
helped us open our first phase of our Food Oasis program. Our Food Oasis program offers healthy alternatives uh, to people in food deserts, things like fresh fruits and vegetables. In food deserts, uh, residents aren't able to get the fresh and healthy alternatives they need in order to get a healthy diet. Since our Food Oasis program uh, started, then uh, we started it in Chicago and right here in New York. Since then, now we are in 21 markets. We are in places like Detroit, San Francisco, Miami, just to mention a few. Working with First Lady Michelle Obama and the Partnership for a Healthier America, Walgreens has committed to expanding our Food Oasis program by 1,000 stores by 2016. LULAC and Walgreens are also working to make healthcare more accessible to communities throughout the nation. We collaborate uh, to bring free flu shots to people in need, health screenings uh, at health fairs and many other initiatives. We do so because of just one simple common belief. A number like your zip code shouldn't define the health of your family. So what I want you to do is at each one of your tables, you have one of these. It's a small, small first aid kit. Use it as a reminder. A small step can make a huge difference in your health care. Maybe it's choosing an apple for your next uh, uh, snack. Maybe it's stopping at your local Walgreens or Duane Reed to have your pharmacist uh, check your uh, blood pressure for free. Use this tool to improve the, your health and your families. So on behalf of Walgreens and our 240,000 employees, we are honored to sponsor uh, this amazing conference and organization. We thank Brent Wilkes and President Moran for your amazing, amazing leadership and partnership with Walgreens. Thank you for letting us uh, help all of you keep your families, stay, get, and live well every day. And while I'm a Boricua, born and raised, thank you, needed to get it out there. I know that on Sunday I'll be saying, Viva Argentina! Gracias, Rafael. Thank you. Y viva Chicago también. <laughs> right. Now, please join me in welcoming another outstanding, long-standing partner of many of LULAC's initiatives, the Coca-Cola Company. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and I see we also have something they left on every table. So, With us today is the Director of Latin Affairs, Ms. Lillian Rodriguez. No relation, but great lady. Lillian Rodriguez. <laughs> Teresa just said to me, you bought the bottle. I was like, and you know it? <laughs> On behalf of the Coca-Cola company, our chairman, Mutar Ken, and our entire family of Coca-Cola associates, we thank you for being here with LULAC at its 85th annual convention. I want to welcome and thank all of the Coca-Cola people who are here today at table seven. We're very excited about our relationship <laughs> with LULAC. It's been a strong relationship for decades, and the reason for that is the Coca-Cola company, like LULAC, recognizes that if you don't have healthy and strong families, you're not gonna have healthy and strong communities. We are in every community throughout this country. We hope to be in every refrigerator throughout this com country. And we share a lot of values with LULAC. We believe in innovation. We believe in saying presente when communities need us, whether it's just for times of celebration or times of sadness. We are there when there is disaster needs throughout this country. One of the other things that we share with LULAC is this deep belief in the importance of diversity and how diversity drives change, drives growth. The Latino community has always been part of the Coca-Cola family. Without you, we wouldn't be who we are today. And so, in honor of that, we ran a little commercial during the Super Bowl that just got a little bit of attention across the country because we chose, like LULAC, to always champion and celebrate diversity. So, for your viewing pleasure, once again, it's beautiful.
Wow. Thank you, Lily, and thank you, Coca-Cola, for celebrating the beauty of diversity. Gracias. Another great partner of LULAX is Univision Communications, Mi Familia, y espero que la suya también. Together, LULAC and Univision raise awareness on several issues pertinent to the Latino community. Among them, education. Most recently, our efforts have focused on explaining to parents the importance of career and college readiness. This is a responsibility we take extremely seriously. Yes. No one knows that responsibility better than Univision's Executive Vice President, Chief Executive Officer of Human Resources and Community Empowerment, Mr. Baza. Gracias, Teresa. It's great to have one of Univision's finest with us today. Speaking of Univision, I hope you've been watching football on Univision in the way which is intended to be watched and intended to be heard and not on that other station. As we say at Univision, everything, everything is better in Spanish. I also would like to add my acknowledgement and uh, support to Margaret Moran and to Brent Wilkes and the LULAC board and staff for convening this conference, which highlights many, many of the great uh, challenges and opportunities confronting Hispanic America. We are proud to be uh, partners with LULAC and have been for many years side by side, helping to empower and to serve our Hispanic community. Like LULAC, Univision is a mission-driven company. Our mission is simply to inform, entertain, empower, and to advocate on behalf of Hispanic Americans. Our ability to fulfill our mission rests on three principles. First and foremost, we work very, very hard to run a successful business. This gives us the credibility and the resources to lead and to serve. Secondly, we stay just pinned, actively focused our Hispanic community, wherever it goes, we go with it. Our desire is to have a Univision branded product or service to wherever our Hispanic community is going. It is growing and it is in great, great desire to have products and services that allow us to fulfill its destiny here in the United States. Finally, we have to ensure the quality and the integrity of our engagement with the community. If we do that, we continue to earn the unparalleled trust and loyalty that the community has for Univision. Performing against these principles is not only fundamental to our mission, but it also sets us up to deliver community-based programs and products. We do this under Univision Contigo. And under Univision Contigo, we do develop programs and also commercial products that help uh, Latinos achieve higher educational attainment, improve their wellness and health, increase their financial capability and prosperity, and increase their participation in the treasured privileges of citizenship and voting. All this said, we could not get done half of what we get done if we did not have partners like LULAC. Their dedication, their hard work, and their willingness to fight for this community inspire us and give us the trust of others. So again, Margaret and Brent, congratulations on putting together a terrific conference. And if I might, I might just end on one other matter. Recently, our CEO, Randy Falco, directed his personal attention in the assets of our company. The call for an advocating for the humane treatment of the children inside our borders. <laughs> Univision knows these children. They look like us, like our parents, like everyone else who has come to this country to fulfill the dream and they're running from terrible situations. We know them. Randy reminds us not to get distracted by politics, circumstances, and economics. At Univision, we're not confused. We're not confused at all about our compassion and our duty, and neither is LULAC. 
Two weeks ago, we started a series of programs to call attention to the future jobs of Costa Rica. Across our program, we're using all our media outlets. Soon, we'll be moving into more action-oriented programs to speak and represent their voice in our more diverse sector. Some of these programs will be in partnership with RELAC. Uh, Brent and uh, Margaret and I confirmed that with their CEO, Randy Crawford, just this week. So we'll be doing an awful lot in this regard. Look, I believe each of us needs to be counted on this matter. As we celebrated recently the birthday of our great country, it's time to reflect and to stand up as Americans. Despite the many opportunities we have to be distracted by politics or policies, two things are known for certain. These are children, and they are in the United States of America. So please. Know that these two things should give us an optimism and a resolve to be able to do something on your behalf. So please do everything that you can to encourage the humane treatment of these children. Raise your voice on their behalf or lower it in, lower it in solemn prayer that they really, really need it. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. And just as an aside, we at Akiara will be producing an hour-long special at Wilmaria this Sunday, the following Sunday. Also, uh, getting back to education, because it's something very dear to my heart, as someone who has actually hosted town halls and spoken to the parents and the families, I know firsthand the difference that Univision and LULAC are making in the lives of our future leaders. So thank you, LULAC, for your partnership, because we are changing lives. We are making a difference. It is now my pleasure to welcome Toyota, a corporation that has worked with LULAC since 2008 to advance the mission of empowering the Latino community. Please welcome to the stage Group Vice President and General Manager for Toyota, Bill Fisk. <laughs> Well, bienvenidos, everybody, and thank you so much for that generous introduction. And thanks to all of you for joining us at the LULAC Unity Luncheon. So it is honored to be serving as the presenting sponsor of this year's national convention and to have a partner and a friend in LULAC. You've really put on a very special convention, and we're excited to be here part of it. Toyota's relationship with the Hispanic community is one that means an awful lot to us. We're humbled and so grateful that U.S. Latinos have made Toyota the number one auto brand for each of the last 10 years. Woo! Thank you, and we know that relationships are always, are, are always a two-way street, and we cannot be more thankful to the Hispanic community for your loyalty and support. At Toyota, we're very passionate about our investments in the Hispanic community. Those investments include programs that foster literacy among Hispanic families, extend education opportunities to Latinos, and boost child passenger safety for Hispanic families. We're also very proud that we've recently formed Toyota's Hispanic Business Strategy Group, a team that's focused on ensuring Hispanic perspective is an integral part of our growth strategy for all our company brands, Toyota, Lexus, and Scion. When I talk about Toyota's special relationship with the Hispanic community, I like to share a story, one that speaks to what we can accomplish when we all come together to an address an important issue that affects us all. Several years ago, Dr. Victor Garcia, the founding director of trauma services at Cincinnati Children's Medical Center, came to us with some tragic and unacceptable figures. According to studies, Hispanic children are less likely than other kids to be buckled up in car seats or in proper car restraints. It's not just a problem in the Hispanic community. Overall, three out of every four car seats in this country are not properly installed. When we learned of this, we knew we had to work together for a solution. The result is Buckle Up for Life, a national community-based education program to keep our children safe. Here's a video to show you why this program is so important to us. Oh, it's going to be 
I think it goes around. So, so who's been there? As parents, we all know how important this is to get this right. That's why we know it's so to get that right. In addition to safety, Toyota is also very committed to the environment. Thanks to our customers, we have sold more than 5 million hybrids around the world, including more than 2 million here in North America. As a result of all those hybrids on the road in the world, there's been an estimated 34 million ton reduction in CO2 emissions. That's the equivalent of taking nearly 5 million passenger vehicles off the road for an entire year. I'm very excited that we will be partnering with LULAC over the next year to further these efforts. You all, some of you have walked by it on your way in today, a brand new Prius plug-in, the official vehicle of this year's convention. LULAC will have the use of the car for one year as it works with Toyota to raise environmental awareness among the Hispanic community and encourage greener and more sustainable lifestyles. <laughs> LULAC will use the Prius plug-in to support its many important activities and together we intend to raise environmental awareness in the Hispanic community and help people find new ways to take action for greener communities and a more sustainable world. I want to invite everybody here to stop by our booth at the Expo. We'll have some of our most popular vehicles on display, a Sienna, a Prius V, and a Corolla. And we'll also have iPad and car seat giveaways and buckle up for life child safety demonstrations. The, the road we travel is one we all share. Thank you to LULAC for all you do to strengthen the Latino community in this country. I especially want to thank Margaret Moran for her four outstanding years as LULAC's national president and national executive director, Brett Wilkes, for his leadership as well. Thank you all for your time and attention, and we hope that you know you have a strong and committed partner in Toyota. Have a great luncheon and a great rest of the convention. Thank you. I think I can do this without the riser. Thank you, Mr. Fay. And yes, he will have a uh, personal demonstration of those car seats. I remember being very frustrated when I had my two boys who would buckle in. I guess he's not going to put it up. Okay, I'll just read from here. Okay. All right, I shrunk all of a sudden. Yes. <laughs> the women in the audience will understand. <laughs> okay, now I'd like to welcome our presenting sponsor for today's luncheon, Target. Here on behalf of Target is the President of Community Relations and Target Foundation, Ms. Leisha Ward. I told her I'm a little taller. I think that I'll be okay. <laughs> Thank you, bienvenidos, and good afternoon. Wow, what a privilege to be part of this extraordinary conversation. I'm so pleased to be here. On behalf of everyone at Target, including the Target table right in front of me and our extraordinary partners who are here as well, we want to say thank you for joining us. The theme of our conversation today is unity. And we're lucky to have among us leaders who have done so much to bring people together through service, politics, entertainment, business, and most importantly, through their leadership. The First Lady of the United States, Mrs. Michelle Obama, the incredible actress, singer, dancer, and songwriter, Ms. Jennifer Lopez, and the president of the League of United Latin American Citizens, Mrs. Margaret Moran, and of course, Brent Wilkes, extraordinary leaders who do so much to make not only the Latino community better, but our entire nation better. Thank you for your service. Let's give them a round of applause. It's good that we're here today talking about unity over a meal. People have always found common ground around a shared table. And lately around a television watching the World Cup, which is uniting football fans from across the globe, even here in the United States, which is exciting to see. And in fact, on Sunday, my husband and I will be gathered 
uh, rooting, at least me, for Argentina and Tim for Germany. We'll see who wins, but the power of diversity and inclusion is to celebrate what unites us, not what separates and divides us. Out of our many colors, creeds, backgrounds, and desires, we are one people united by an American dream. Our dream has always been about the future. Whether you grew up in Mexico, Ecuador, Colombia, Puerto Rico, Brazil, Argentina, or in rural Indiana, like me, we all share a dream that we can build a better future for our families. This is one of the things I love most about working for Target. We believe in family. We believe in community and in giving back. The deeply rooted ideas of taking care of one another and leaving the world better than we found it are part of the fabric of our culture at Target which I hope you feel when you visit your local Target store and see through the Target team members in your community and you engage with us through one of our digital and social channels, your Target should feel like a reflection of you. Education is one of the priorities we share with the Latino community. Target is on track to give $1 billion to education by the end of 2015. Thank you. We believe, we believe that every child deserves a quality education regardless of race or socioeconomic status. Without a high school diploma, the American dream too easily slips away and graduation rates are still too low for students of color, especially Latino and African American students. It's something that we all have to address. Without a diploma and the ability to be a lifelong learner, students are far less likely to get into and through some form of higher education, less likely to find a well-paying job, less likely to build a better future for their families. An important part of setting kids up for success is ensuring that they're able to read proficiently. Students who can read well have the foundation to be successful in every academic area, including STEM science, technology, engineering, and math, and they're more likely to graduate from high school. Target School Library Makeover Program transforms the learning experience for students all across the country by renovating libraries and media centers, installing new technology, providing kids culturally relevant books to bring home and share with their families, and creating in-school food pantries because we know it's more difficult to learn when you're hungry. We created this TV spot in English and in Spanish to celebrate the program and its impact on students. Let's take a look. Right now in education, for everybody it's hard. My name is Kelly Herman. I am a public school librarian. We're very excited because today we are going to have the unveiling of our new library, um, Target. In addition to that, the students are going to be receiving some free books from Target so that they can start building their own home library. The impact is just going to really show them that all these other people care about them and that all these other people want them to be successful. Las escuelas públicas tienen muchos retos. Mi nombre es Marta Alba y soy la directora de la Academia Cooper. El día de hoy estoy muy emocionada con esta biblioteca que nos ha dado la compañía Target. Cada estudiante recibió una mochila con siete libros nuevos para que se llevaran a casa. El mensaje que van a recibir el día de hoy de la compañía Target es de que creemos en ti. Adelante y busca el éxito. Thank you. Gracias. Programs like this, including our phenomenal partnership with LULAC, create a united front that ensures every child has the chance to reach his or her full potential, and that no child, no child is left hiding in the shadows. On behalf of everyone at Target, thank you for being here today, and I encourage all of us to continue to build on the spirit of unity and action in our community so that everyone has a voice and a seat at the table. Thank you, and Target looks forward to continuing to work alongside all of you, and I hope to see many of you at tomorrow's Women's Luncheon, where we'll continue to honor the incredible contributions of the Latino community, especially Latinas. Thank you.